Hello, so I had a clutch of green basilisks hatch today again, and I wanted to show today how I sex baby lizards. So I thought I'd make a little video of that, but first I wanted to show you guys uh, how these lizards act when they hatch, and you first open the open the lid here. You can see that they were laid five, May 3rd, and uh, today is July 16th. There they are. Had some good, good white eggs here, and it looks like they're all hatched. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So everybody's here. All right. Let's take them out, and uh, I'll set up my tripod here in a second and get my little LED light out, and uh, we'll take a look at how they, how I sex them. I just get these at the dollar store. They're, they have a laser, but it's dual function. So the super bright LED light is the part that I'm gonna I'm gonna use for this. Here's our first lizard. Let's see if we can get him to focus. I have to keep the lighting kind of down a bit. Uh, otherwise, we won't be able to to see the light go through the the lizard. Because what we're gonna do is candle the base of the lizard's tail. Uh, so I'm just going to gently turn him over here, or her. I've been incubating these at different temperatures to see if I could get different sex ratios out of them. Uh, with these green basilisks, it seems like as I've slowly gotten cooler, I've gotten more and more females. But we'll see what we get today here. It, let's see, I think I incubated these at 82 degrees. Okay, let's take a look at my first lizard here see what we get whoops okay that's pretty good now if you look at the base of the tail right there see those two red lines that's the uh, blood going into the hemipene so we know this one's a male okay let's look at this next one this next one here, Let me get it to focus here in the right area. This next one, you can't see the lines in there. There's no the the vasculature isn't in there. There's no no red lines. We know that no no hemipenes visible. And so we know this one's a female. Okay, another female. Here's our fourth one. See what we can find out here. And again, we have another female. This one's not too sure about me. There we go. It's going to be okay. And we'll just take a quick peek here. Another female. Okay, this is starting to actually look like what I want. We'll see if I'm lucky. But I've been adjusting the incubation temperature a little bit to see if I could uh, get kind of temperature sexual determination in the hatchlings. As I've slowly been lowering the temperature down from 86 to about 82, I've been getting uh, more and more females, which is what I'm trying for right now. Here's number six. Oops, easy there, number six. Come on. It's all right. Take a, a quick look. And I don't know, they're struggling right now, so it looks like, you know, maybe I'm pinching them, but I'm not. I'm holding them very gently. I want to be really careful with them so I don't damage them or hurt them in any way. Uh, which makes this kind of tricky business, too, to, to hold on to them gently without them getting away, because these little guys are fast when they hatch. Let's see. Okay, here we go. All right, number six is also female. Very good. Okay, here's number seven. And number seven is also, no, wait a second. Let me look at seven a little bit more closely here. 
Number seven's a little tricky. He's he's showing. I can see the little veins. Let's see if you guys can see them or not. They're not as clear as that first male, but they're here. I almost missed them because I was looking at the the camera instead of at the lizard. I can see a little bit better with my eyes than I can with the camera. And it's showing up in the camera, I should say. But this one's got a couple little, let's see if I can adjust the light around his tail root here. Number seven's a little trickier for me to find these, but now they're visible. I can see them. See the little red lines again? So this is another male. So I have a clutch of seven and incubated at 82 degrees I got uh, five females and two males this is the opposite of what I got at about 86 degrees 86 was um, mostly males and just a couple of females so and maybe there's there's something to the temperature and sexual determination in this species like in some other lizards I'm gonna keep working to find out over time but that's how that's how we do it. That's how I can see most of my lizards. Now I use this method to determine their sex as soon as they come out of the egg, or right out of the incubator before I put them away, and then I put them away in groups that are made up of male and female so that I know what they are in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video.